Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, let's make a spaghetti kimchi meat sauce over rice or noodles if you'd like. And if you guys want to know how to make this, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, share this, like it, and stick around and watch me cook. We have always added like a piece of kimchi to our spaghetti because it just tastes good together. So then I decided to start making it just in the meat sauce itself. So, this is how we do it. First, let's grab your onion. No rhyme or reason in this. I am just using what I thought was a quarter cup, but it turned out to be about a half a cup of onion. If you like to use the whole or just a half of a small one or a whole, you know, you get what I'm saying. Use whatever amount of onion it is that you would like. This is about a half of cup's worth that I did end up using. I diced them. Again, no rhyme or reason in this. Cut it however you would like it. Once your onion is all diced up, just go ahead and set that aside. And all we're going to do is grab your well-fermented kimchi. You're going to want to use at least three quarters of a cup to a cup if you'd like. But um, I use three quarters of a cup and I'm going to pack it into my measuring cup very well. Once you have the amount of kimchi it is that you want, go ahead and again, no rhyme or reason, cut it up however it is that you would like. I like to normally do it with a little bit of bite-sized pieces so that we can get a little bit every time we take a bite in our spaghetti sauce. Also know that depending on your kimchi type, this could be very spicy for you or it could just be delicious. Spaghetti is obviously heavily tomato based and so you're just going to have a little bit of the tomato base with the kimchi flavor combined and it just works. It just works well. I already had my green onions chopped up so I didn't need to show you guys that but I used a quarter cup's worth and just save a little bit for the garnishment later. As for your ground beef, just get the lean beef, the 93 and 7 um, fat. That's the kind you want. I've never tried it with any other kind of meat, so I mean, I'm talking about turkey or something like that, not ground beef. I've always used ground beef. If you get the kind that's more fatty, then you're gonna have to grease, come soak up all the grease from that. So it's just easier to get it when it has less fat in it. Now go ahead and cook this however it is that you'd like. If you like it to be finer, then break it up to make it a little bit finer. If you like it chunkier or thicker because you like to have the bigger chunks of meat, which is what I prefer in your meat sauce, then cook it just like that. Once your meat is almost done cooking, go ahead and add one to two minced garlics inside and just stir it all up. Once everything is nicely mixed up, what I'm doing here is making a little pocket so that I can go ahead and add my half a tablespoon of butter and we're gonna let that butter just sit there and kind of melt its way into all this deliciousness. Then go ahead and grab the chopped onions and the kimchi that we just chopped up on the cutting board and throw it all in there. We're gonna let this sit there for a few minutes. You really don't need to do much to it, just let it sit there and do its thing for a couple of minutes just so it can heat up and then cook a little bit on its own. But instead of just showing you guys just a pan full of food just sitting there, I did go ahead and cut it up do my editing process of this and just sped it up. Once that's sat there for a few minutes, go ahead and mix everything up together. All of your meat should be cooked by now and you should be able to see with your kimchi the transparency of the leaves a little bit. And go ahead and add your green onions. Not all of it, again, just save some that you wanna garnish with later. So we're gonna go ahead and add most of it right into this and we're gonna just mix all that up as well. If you guys can't tell, I'm just not as chatty today because my kids are back in school and of course they come home with germs and now I am sick. So if I sound different to you guys, then that would be why. Okay, now that we have everything cooking for a little while, grab your favorite jar of spaghetti sauce because we're not gonna sit there and make our own sauce because we wanna move this along because we've got a family, we are busy, we need to get things going. You don't want the smallest jar that they sell that everybody uses. Get the one the net one that's the next size up from that. It's the 24, 28 ounce or something like that. Grab that size and we're going to use that into your pot of meat sauce and everything else. 
And to perfectly balance everything out, I use a teaspoon of brown sugar. Make sure you guys are using the brown sugar Splenda or just your regular brown sugar you substitutes as needed. But it helps balance out the spicy flavor of the kimchi and brings a little bit of sweetness to the sauce. And once you're done mixing everything up, get your lid and cover it up and let it simmer for about 20 minutes before you serve this. You can serve this over rice or noodles. I chose rice because it was already made and it was hot and I did not want to boil another pot of something to wash later. Just keeping it real for you guys. Well, I hope you guys liked this recipe. If you did, please make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, share this, and until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.